Or yo, I got a bear burger or a bear jerky. Like if you if you said yo, I got the sweetest pork chop or I, yo, I have a pork chop or also I uh -huh. have bear. I'm always gonna take a pork chop. But if I'm like super hungry and there's no food around and so like I got a bear burger. Yeah, let's see what this bear is all about. What? Okay. In in the, in the choice scenario though, what is the thing that would have to be like? It would either have to be like spiced with or included on the side of the bear steak for it to go above and beyond like that standard like beef steak or pork chop. Really loaded baked potato. Yeah. And the other two don't come with the baked potato. No. No. What if they? What if they came with a baked potato, but it was a really middling baked potato? Um, then you have to throw in some, I don't know, like something else, like some... Alright, I'm gonna go weird on you here. rice uh -huh. You gotta throw in some rice in that dish. <laughs> and that's a bear steak on a, on a bed of rice -aroni. With a super loaded baked potato, yeah, absolutely. It's a San Francisco treat. It's <laughs> very ironic because there are no bears in San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, there are. <laughs> there are, in fact, apparently. There are, are there bears in San Francisco? I, I'm getting the joke. I just got the joke. The joke just hit my head, and I. The rats troops are attacking. Oh, the rats troops are. There are buffalo, but there's no bears. I wonder what would actually go well with bear. No change in the treasury lord. I wonder what it tastes like. I'm really tempted to like find that out and like Google it and be like, what does bear taste like? But then I know I'm just gonna get to like a bunch of sad hunting sites. And it's just gonna it's gonna be sad from there. It's gonna You're gonna find the same people yeah. that eat squirrels and me and not as a <laughs> just a squirrel you guys. You're gonna find the guys like, yeah no, I made a squirrel sandwich. Did did you did you catch that uh, that pack um, panel? Yeah, that's good stuff. I don't think I would eat squirrel. Is that a thing that she did? I, the only like I know like Sarah. I'm sure she was like big into hunting. The only thing I ever saw was that like Thanksgiving video, where she was like. It's a really good video where they're just like, in the processor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just decapitated, basically. I think it was an automatic decapitator, if I remember correctly. I don't really remember that. Uh, I don't know. I would eat rabbit, though. I think I've eaten rabbit before. It's really big at German restaurants. Of course I have. I'll, I'll eat, like, anything. Oh, here comes a catapult. That's probably... Good. Okay. Is it different from the one that you that took down your walls before? Is it like bigger? Specialized in breaking stone instead of wood. Also, he's wall hacking. Excellent. Oh wow, I'm seeing it just right now. I think that it's got like a fish head on it. You can Never. throw diseased cows from catapults in this game. We await orders. Seriously. That sounds great. That's all I would be doing. Be throwing some bears over there. Oh, come on, guys. How can you not hit him? Yes. We are on <laughs> Every single way. one of you is fired. Archers, ready. Take steady aim. Arrows, ready. Oh, no. There's also, like, the whole thing about, like, giving you that really cool upgrade that you really wanted. Uh, and then like five minutes later, introducing the thing that will completely fuck over that upgrade is so like 2001 game as well. Well, build a catapult. <laughs> Start curling them. Work with what you've got. Me lord. Leaving now. Outlying villagers have seen a band of the rats. Of course, there's a band of rats troops heading this way. Why wouldn't there be? I wish they would give me more than just archers. I'd really like some spearmen or something. 
That would, yeah. This is weird, like, I don't know. For a game that emphasizes combat so much, they're really not doling out very much of the combat stuff. Grow steadily, sire. I think they're, like, this game confused not giving you things with tutorializing you, I think. That sounds like another product of the times. This whole game is so weird. It's like they upgrade, up the graphics and like changed a few things, but for the most part, this is totally still like. No, this is all stronghold. Yeah, yeah. Basically the same thing. It's crazy. The rats' troops are attacking. Have you played that um that new game? Um, what is it called? I thought I thought it was called Stronghold as well, but probably not. Um, it's the one where there's, like, no combat. You're just kind of, like, doing what you're doing here, but uh, uh, without, like, or the no, threat of people. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, you I played that one yet? It, though. It, looked super... it looked like a shitty Dwarf Fortress. So that's my problem now with games that don't involve combat. <laughs> I compare it to Dwarf Fortress, and uh -huh. I go, oh, no, Dwarf Fortress is way better than that. And then I try and... But doesn't Dwarf, Dwarf Fortress, Fortress have combat? Cool. It does. It has, like, super detailed combat. Uh, like, it will do a highly detailed breakdown of who punched what, what body part fell off. They have ladders now, that's not okay. I'm not okay with that. I mean, I'm not okay with Dwarf Fortress in general, so... Wh no, what is it about those games that makes you... Not Dwarf Fortress, those the guys who are running up on the ladders. Those oh, okay. Oh yeah, that's bad. Could you... Could you, like, put, like, wood walls in front of your stone no, walls? No, because now I only have access to or stone walls, but I, in the, like, once everything's unlocked, I think so. Fuck, this is such a strategy game, too. Wow. It's weird looking back at, like, different genres of games from okay. different genres, or different times, and being like, if you had tried to do anything different, there would have just been, like... A, a massive uprising of nerds, basically. It's crazy. Of course, I have to make my stockpile bigger because there's no more room on it. But the stockpile is free, so it, it's no cost to me. We await orders. How, how do you mean it's free? You don't we have to pay to build it or to maintain it? There's literally no cost to it. It doesn't cost stone or money or anything like that. They just build it. Instantly. So you can just build as much as much stockpile as you want, but it still occupies space. Mm -hmm. um, okay. But there's only so much that can fit on the stockpile, so I have a ton of stone and wood on my stockpile. Gotcha. But you couldn't send people out to like cut down any of those trees or something. Um, I can build, Make wood out of that. I could try and build a woodcutter in that forest to encourage him to cut those trees down, but there's no way for me to tell them which trees to cut down. You just kind of have to put them, so like, the bear forest, I put a couple woodcutters in there because there's a lot of wood over there. Um, but there's no... Oh, by the way, uh, because this town only has, like... Fuck. Because this town only has like half of a wall, I'm calling it um, half Seasville. It's a big step up from uh, Splintersville, though. So, that's good. Also, what was it about Banish that made you think it was like Dwarf Fortress? Uh, just the actions that you could give to people and stuff. I also have a hard time with just town building games that don't have combat. Like, I'll build everything and go, hmm. Now what? Like, SimCity was super cool until I built one of everything, and I'm like, oh, I'm bored now. It's cool to watch this city do its thing, though, I guess. Yeah, that's why you, that's why you like, laser it with aliens or blow it up with a volcano, and then you start yes. over again. Yeah, but then now you know that you did that. 
like, in Dwarf Fortress, when I get invaded by goblins and they fuck up a bunch of my stuff, then I get to do that because I I killed the goblins, I fought them, and then I have to rebuild after that. Like, uh, Did you ever play SimCity with the, the disasters on? Yeah. It was... it got tedious and annoying. Well, I mean, that was like, yeah, that was basically SimCity. For uh, last weekend, I played a little bit of Space Base DF9, which is the... Oh, okay. Uh, the double fine kind of door fortress style game, and it's a lot of fun, oh, but, it, no. it, but it's still like early access, and so there's not a lot in there. So I built like everything, and then the only disaster that they had implemented was space debris hitting your thing and then setting everything on fire. So I built everything, <laughs> everyone was happy, and then an asteroid would come and blow stuff up, and then I would put the fires out and rebuild, and then be like, I, I literally have nothing else to do now. So you've played a lot of uh, of Dwarf Fortress, right? Yes. Um, do you think that like upgrading it to have like a visual style is like an actual genre that could have like any footing? Because um, I know the guys who've made it have said on numerous occasions they don't they wouldn't add a visual aspect. Uh, there to. are mods. Like, I play with a mod that gives a visual representation to everything. It, like, I don't think it's playable in that ASCII mode. Um, but... Oh, yeah. I still think but some people swear by it. So obtuse. Oh, yeah, the, and those are crazy people. Um, that game is still so <laughs> obtuse, even if there is graphics representation. Just the things that you have access to do, and like there's your like I watched at least seven hours of YouTube before I even launched that game, learning how to play. Just because there's so much that you can do, and it's so complicated. So like that's why the the space based DF9 was really cool because you got that door fortress feeling. But then I ran into the thing where it was so limited that it's like oh now I'm done. Like, Door Fortress, there's always something crazy that you can be building, or doing, in the game of Doors. Um, and do you think that they'll actually, like... Do you think they'll actually get to that level of, of depth that Door Fortress has? Like, is that uh, what they're they aiming for? Have, uh, you know? updates. Um, and they, they openly welcome anyone to make mods for them, both visual and otherwise. Um, like, I know there's a guy who did a mod for, like... Added like black powder and machinery and tanks and stuff like that. I wonder if we'll ever see a Door Fortress 2 with like graphics so that's the fun from thing those is, guys. Uh, Door Fortress is the full name is Slaves to Armor. Door Fortress. There is no Slaves to Armor. So do you think they're gonna make like a prequel or something? That'd be that'd be insane. Twelve years until they're finally happy with it. For more than twelve years, like it, there, it's never gonna be done. I think it's one of those games that just will always be being added upon, like Minecraft or something. Yeah, I just I have to wonder, like, if with Minecraft, if they're actually gonna like, if they're actually gonna stick with it, you know, or if they're just eventually gonna hand it off to someone and be like, you know what, I need to go make my own thing now. I've been working on this game for like. 10 years, it's time for something different. Yeah, I, I wonder what the, the next game they'll make looks like and how that whole thing pans out. As someone who is horrified by Dwarf Fortress's complexity. It's, it takes so long to get into, but it's so much fun. My boy's yours! Moving uh, off! Once you get into it, it's the thing that I love. Um, it's, it's the part where, like, so the thing that that went me go made me go from oh that's kind of neat to I'm installing this game is when the guy I was watching stream it he <laughs> fully made his army and then started training them and then made a hospital and then like all he did was set down a couple tables designate certain dwarves as doctors the rats and troops are like, whenever one of the military guys got wounded the doctors would automatically come pick up the body, move it to the hospital area, and do whatever needed to be done to fix them. So they could do surgery, they could cut off limbs that were going to become infected, they could uh, put casts and, and apply splints and give crutches out. 
and all that stuff, and just like watching that on top of everything else made me go, oh man, that's amazing. I'm going to install this game. But is that something that's like that those characters can inherently do, or is that something that 